Hey guys, what's going on? Don here at CES 2024, and I am with Dan from Alma Lens Digital DLVR. And you know, they have an interesting technology that's going to make the Pimax Crystal even clearer. So I'm gonna get a quick demo, and then I'm gonna let Dan let me know all about it. So what we're doing here, what we're doing here, Don, is we, we Alma Lens develops uh, algorithms to improve image quality. It's a computational image quality improvement solution that addresses a pain point that's inherent in all head-mounted displays. And what that is, is all of these displays are using simple optical systems. Think by necessity. Okay. A simple lens, lightweight, um, low profile, because you can't have a big honking multi-element lens hanging off, your, hanging off of your display. Too much weight. <laughs> and the other, the other factor is that the eye is part of the optical system. And that means when, when you put on your, uh, your display, the eye position is never really, never always on the optical center. It's one side or the, or, or the other, or up or down. It's never perfectly on the optical axis. And furthermore, the user is looking around in the field of vision of the display. Okay. So, so there's all uh, a variety of different uh, conditions, optical conditions, that confront the light being projected from the light engine to the user's eye. Okay. So what we do is, with the assistance of eye tracking, we're able to create a corrective, uh, a pre-correction to the optical information in the display pipeline before it is projected through the lens system to the user's eyes. Okay. And as a result, we're able to reduce the chromatic aberrations, uh, the diffusion of light rays through the, through the plastic or glass, so that what strikes the user's eye is much more what was intended. And this becomes a bigger problem as dis as VR displays increase in resolution. So Pimax has the crystal has the highest resolution of any display in the in the in, in the market, but not all of those pixels through this simple optics, as I explained, can make it to the user's eye. Okay. What DLVR does is pre-correct the optical the the the, the optical rays so that they, when they pass through the optical, through the lenses, the optical system, they most accurately land where they're supposed to on the user's eyes. Okay. They create a sharper, crisper, more real image. So what am I gonna see in the demo? So in the demo, you're gonna see deep, where, where, where there are details that would otherwise be blurred in any head mounted, in any head mounted okay. display. You will see them with the algorithm, pop and be much crisper. Interesting. Um, where there's black to white boundaries, um, no, with, uh, normally you'll see chromatic aberrations. A little red on one side, a little blue on the other, just because simply the, 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 the colors aren't don't land precisely where they should. Okay. We correct that. Awesome. So black to white boundaries, text, um, details okay. will be higher contrast, sharper and there'll be much more detail you're going to really see this in any detail oriented game uh, where there's ambient uh, brickwork um, uh, flight simulators where there's gauges and controls, now that's that's my thing i love flight simulators so. information is going to come through vastly clearer than okay. it will without this and it comes back to the limitations of optical systems it's okay. physics baby that's right man yeah. so let's see it yeah all right so all right i'm gonna go ahead and go in headset here so i gotta say i'm already seeing one huge difference that i'm seeing is in the depth of of right. what i'm seeing in the image uh i also the, the the tracing of the clouds like you were saying, the contrast of the white against other colors, especially the black. Sharp, sharp contrast areas are gonna be the most prevalent. You're gonna see the border between the two much, much crisper. Yeah. Okay, so details are definitely popping. And I've, you know, I've been using the crystal for the better part of a year, and this is definitely making a difference. Yeah. Wow. So you're watching um, uh, the example of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, 
We've been playing with Phasmophobia, and it just reveals in texture, ground. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say the the the, uh, the asphalt here. I can totally see the detail in the asphalt. It looks it looks so much more real. Okay. Wow. Okay. So that is fantastic. Yeah. And this this as 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 resolutions as the projector resolutions increase in these devices this becomes this problem becomes an ever-growing issue uh, and there's no practical optical solution to solve this it's got to be computational so we call the technology dlvr that means digital lens for vr because yeah. it has the same effect as if you added another lens element. It's almost like putting a contact lens it's on. It's like putting another lens element, making, yeah. the, making the optics more co more complicated than you could practically possibly implement. imagine. Okay. Awesome. Well, Dan, thank you so much for the demo today. Guys, I tell you what, if you own the crystal, I'm going to have links for everything that you need to get this set up. This is something that you need to see for yourself. But for me, that's going to do it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. And let me just plug that there's a demo that's available right now. So we do have, a, there's a free demo as an OpenXR plugin. But that's a, it's a temporary thing. So get, so, so grab it now and yeah. have a look at it. Get it while it's free. Yep. <laughs> All right, Dan, thank you so yeah. much.